Hey, what's up, guys? It's Cypher. We're doing educational commentary. We're going to be focusing on trying to get high eliminations and uh, how to rotate and find opponents based off of the bus route and what we know about the game. So we're coming in from Coral Castle going down to Retail Row. We're going to land Salty. Salty is usually always a hot drop. And then we'll be able to rotate around and try to find more players. Majority of the players are going to be landing in this area, but because we're flying over Frenzy as well, there's going to be a good chunk going towards Frenzy. Um, and Lazy Lake as well. Like late landers will probably go, be going towards Lazy Lake. I'm going to hit this house. And I'm just going to start off with a quick pickaxe on this guy. As long as I get the first hit on him, I'll get the LM. So if you're in that situation where somebody lands on you like that, you need to just not challenge him. Like I challenge. Quick tip right here. You can just crawl through this. People act like that's new. It is. You could not do that in previous seasons. The, this house is different now. Easy limb right there. So two are out. Let's go ahead and start putting on this med kit. Now nah, we can, you know what? We can save the med kit. I should get better use out of it. I'm gonna farm up. I'm gonna get at least. Usually I just push out without without farming, but since this is an educational commentary, I want to play a little bit more optimal. Farm up a little bit. Push towards blue house. I hear marauders in the distance. There's a guy right in front of me. He's going to get above the house. And farm the roof. We're going to kill the Batman. Take the blue one. Those are marauders fighting. They're shooting at a, a truck. I'm going to ignore them. And start working my way back towards this blue house so circle is going south and remember we flew over from coral and sweaty so a lot of people are actually going to rotate through salty if they directly just go straight from where they landed uh towards us so knowing that we can kind of hang around salty area for a little bit to catch more people on rotations people are fighting in front of me He's being shot. I'm just going to go for like a straight ramp above him. Easy a limb. Let's grab his mats. House is on fire. He's got a charged shotgun. Looks like he's fighting too. Got hit pretty hard here. Let him, let him spray a little bit. Pretend to put on a med kit. Right? I guess I'll actually put on the med kit if he lets me put it on. Alright, now we're going to jump in the cone. No, right, he's actually breaking the cone. There we go. Good angles right there. We worked with a decent, decent angle. Top right edit corner like this. Then we just jump, shoot. And close that off. Hit him for 100 plus. Give me some shields. There we go. We did see some action towards Pleasant Area. And that's where people are, are mainly going to be rotating from. Here comes one. He's dead. Take that. Take that. All right. Six stinks. I'm going to take those. I feel like that's going to be really useful, especially against season players. So like I said earlier, we got people that are going to be rotating from sweaty and pleasant down south because that's where the bus came from. And we've got another one rotating in right now. Let's get on the roof. Just shoot out his car. He'll take a lot of damage here. Easy kill right here. 
Got a little awkward, but a kill is a kill. All right. So seven or seven limbs already, and I'm not in a rush to get out of here. I'm going to keep farming up. And I do believe there are some shield canisters here, unless somebody already looted them. I'm going to be on the lookout for Holly Rotators, Sweaty, and Pleasant, and Coral. No shields, but there we go. Somebody left one of these for us. When you're eating these, you just want to wait like a, like a half a second before you eat the second one, or else you don't get the full value of the uh, Slurp Mushrooms. Same applies to the coconuts. Anything that has like a heal over time effect like that, if you eat it too quickly, you're not going to get the full value out of it. And usually, like, you know, like I said, if you want to go for, like, a high kill of limb, like, usually at this point, you'd want to start rotating, find new people. But because of where the bus path took us, there should be at least one or two more potentially rotating around or through Salty. And there we go. Just like, just like I said. He's really weak. I'm gonna start using the stinks on him. Let's go ahead and grab the big pop. Upgraded to a scar as well. You we know, there's one more person here. Nope. Can't believe I just let him. <laughs> I can't believe he just ate that in front of me. I would like to carry that, but it's all good. Because I only have one mini right now. Okay. So the rotations are done. We've gotten nine out of salty. With a little, just a tiny bit more aggression, we could have gotten like 10, but nine is pretty good. Now we start the rotation south. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check. Uh, I'm going to take a look at authority. I'm also going to take a look at anybody who might have like done a late rotate uh, from Holly. Already being a hot drop that we kind of flew over and Holly being one that we definitely flew right over. So this side of the map, since we came in from this side, I'm going to stick leaning towards weeping Holly slurpy side um, and try to find somebody rotating. This is the part where it can get a little bit tricky because there's always like a lot of action early game, especially in a hot drop. We were, we were able to stick in Salty and not leave. And that's kind of like what got us most of our limbs is like staying there long enough for people to come through and rotate. A lot of people like to rotate through Salty. Like already we see somebody in Weeping. They're actually in a fight. And luckily we still have Stinks on us. If they if they both crack each other, like we could potentially get both kills. I think one of them just killed the other. I, I could be wrong. If only I was here a little bit sooner. I'd really take advantage of these stink bombs. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 5, 10, 15. We've done 50 white damage to him. There we go. He panicked, tried to like bounce away. Was not the play for sure. Let's rotate in now. We know that people were landing Slurpee or potentially could have stretched Slurpee. And we know people probably landed Frenzy and Authority as we flew over. So those are popular spots. Slurpee, probably not as much as Frenzy. So I'm going to cut through and check the north side of the map. Basically, I, I saw like a build over there. But basically, a lot of people have like spots that they just like to land on. 
regardless of the of the bus. And authority is one of those spots just because of the uh Jules drum gun and grappler. So we're gonna cut over the north side and catch anybody rotating in late from the north side of the map. Because we took care of most of this side of the map. So we're just gonna take a look and see anybody landed north and see if we can locate them. So what I'm gonna do here is so I don't waste too much time, is I'm just gonna take a quick peek. I know I could go further, but instead, since I don't see anything here, I'm gonna cut back and really take a look at anybody who landed Slurpee Swamp. Yeah, I spot somebody already. I'm gonna hold on to this uh, to this launch pad. Got a clean shot with the hunting rifle. I think there was one further down as well. Yep. This guy just stole my kill. It's unfortunate because I, I could have had a lot more. Let's see, what did he have? I could have gotten both. I mean, I should have gotten both. I'll take the splashes. And P90 for spraying. Okay, we're down to the final five. At this point, we just want to get to the circle. Um, since there's only five, I'm going to go ahead and just upgrade my shotgun. Could go to a gold, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to launch up and try to find the last few, four players. So I hear this guy. He's on the bridge. Don't know what he's doing. Honestly, it's so weird. My man needs to learn how to drive. I'm going to drop down just a little bit here. Don't want to get shot in the back, you know. This guy's probably dead. Yep. I dropped down because I don't want somebody to shoot me in the back as I sprayed this guy. If we see a player in front of me. We see a player to the right. And now we just we don't know where one player is. So we're, we you, at the end, I usually try to account for everybody so I'm not blindsided. I don't want to tunnel vision. I hear shots in front of me. So two players are in front of me. One is to the right. If I push these guys, I should be like protected from the guy from the right. Let me see if I can snag a kill here. This guy grappled away. Okay, both players are dead. Could have got I could have gotten both, honestly, but a couple kills slipped me. Slipped away from me. It happens. Alright, we're gonna rock the I don't like the grappler as much, because you, you can get punished really easily with the grappler. I like this combo a lot more. Last guy, we know where he is. He's up ahead. He's gonna build up, get him to shoot at me. Camp in the cone. I see him, I see him. He's pretty weak. He's trying to shoot me out, so I'm going to go low so that he can't even shoot me out. I think if you... Yeah, he should be dead. I was wondering if you could like shoot. Yeah, you can. So what I did right there is I shot the wall weak and then when I put the the shockwave on it, I just broke the wall. At the same time. And when I do that, I'm able to kind of shoot him across. He didn't protect himself right there. So GG's to that guy. So that was a 14 kill solo. And honestly, like 
that's actually a pretty decent elimination game hope you guys enjoyed this educational commentary hope you learned a thing or two if you guys did hit that like button hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time